Here is our model selected for Nod, the shortest haircut in the Anthem collection. Begin with the horseshoe shape parting above the round of the head, section between zone 3 and 4. Walk the comb up the head to determine exactly the bottom of zone 3. The angle of the comb at the lowest point of zone 3 is your cutting angle for your clipper work. Comb the entire vertical panel up to the cutting area just determined at zone 3. Take the length off with clipper over comb. The bottom of the comb is anchored to the head. Work around the entire head connecting to your guide previously cut. Let the hair below drop out. Comb the hair with as much control as possible. For greater ease, use the wide teeth of the comb. Get control of the hair in the comb at the mid shaft. Once in control, anchor the comb to the head and comb up to the top of the panel. Stay mindful of the placement of your comb when cutting. Ensure the same cutting angle as well. The desired result of the clippered area is on the edge of scalp exposure. For this haircut, we use a clipper comb with a wide base and a number one blade. Density of the hair determines scalp exposure. For greater density, you would cut closer to the head. For lower density, you would cut further away. The hair may be difficult to cut due to the amount collected in the comb. Re-enter the clipper into the panel to cut through. Work on the fastest setting of your clipper. Notice the comb consistently remains anchored to the bottom of zone 3. Establish the basic head shape with the shear. Follow the constant method of the Anthem collection and cut square to the bottom of zone 2. The point of entry for your flat cutting is where your fingers have full control of the top of the section. Take basic sections cutting each straight out connecting to the previous traveling guide. The angle chosen allows for length that covers the top of the ear. Stay true to your vertical sections. Let the outline remain at this time. Proper combing allows for the consistency of elevation and cutting angle. Enter the comb at the scalp. Without dropping the hair, walk your hands down the vertical section. Keep your fingers parallel to the section. Behind the ear, there is no guide as the hairline extends to the nape. Keep in line with your cutting angle. Continue around the head with vertical sections. Cut straight out following your guide. Keep consistent with your elevation from the top of the section to the bottom.
Follow this cutting pattern to the center back. Then follow the method all the way to the opposite side. Each section is basic and is cut straight out using the previous as a guide. Follow the angle consistent and equal to the opposite side. This angle is square to the bottom of zone 2 and does not round in as the head does. The point of entry for your flat cutting is where your fingers have full control of the top of the section. Work down the entire section. Do not detail the outline shape at this time. After completing the basic head shape, use the clipper to strengthen the outline. Create a square outline at the nape with the clipper over comb technique. Use the fanning technique where the teeth of the blade are more parallel to the teeth of the comb. Leave suitable length at the perimeter while grooming the neckline by working with the suspended clipper. Use the fanning technique to leave the hairline with a more blended result. Keep attentive to the desired square shape of the nape. Create a quality hairline while leaving a broken texture. Move your cutting technique to the ear area. Simply cut to strengthen what exists. Leave length over the ear. Do not cut into the area behind the ear, and leave the length at the sideburn. This is a constant detail in the Anthem collection. Since we have already cut the transition, we will connect the top. Use front to back sections and connect horizontally to the previous cut length at zone three. The guide is very short. Anchor your finger tight to the head to find the guide. Connect with a flat cut. Work across the entire top of the head with basic front to back sections. Direct each section to the side of the head. The elevation is slightly higher with each section until you reach the highest point of zone four. With front to back sections, cut the entire top of the head to one side, connecting to the established guide.
Repeat the method on the opposite side of the head, connecting into the transition area. Keep the elevation straight to the side. Each section is elevated slightly higher than the previous. Detail the crown by cutting a convex layer with basic sections. Connect into zone 2 below the crown. Pull each section straight back. To connect the top, take side-to-side -side basic sections. Begin in front of the crown. Point cut each section remaining shallow to the ends. Use a simple angle and alter directions. Reduce the exaggerated shape on top. Cut the hair at a convex angle. The roundness should be only a fraction above square. Do not offer support cutting to the top of the head. Exaggerate the shape with the cutting angle of convex. Elevate each section straight up as you work towards the front hairline. Overdirect the front hairline back to the previous section to conserve weight. Detail the front hairline. Place your comb right at the front hairline. Point cut along the comb in varying directions. Keep the cutting angle simple and shallow. The desired result is a strong front outline that slightly rounds down to the temple. Finish the detail with freehand point cutting. Tailing the hair at the temple and behind the ears. 